Welcome back to And They Were Roommates. That was good. Good job, guys. That was great. First time. That's like I'm in Monster Jam. <laughs> Watching monster trucks. I was like, I don't know what Monster <laughs> Jam is. It's where there's a lot of monster trucks. <laughs> don't take away from my spotlight. This is my episode. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Today we are talking about Kelly Belly. Oh my god, that's why. You ready? You ready for the most lit podcast? For, for, for audio, audio listeners, listener? Kelly is about to break a wooden board over his face. <laughs> for oh audio god. listeners, Literally, you're successfully insane. I can't believe you put that behind the pillow. Wood. <laughs> that yes, was going to be on Elliot's head last week. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to surprise him. Oh, did that hurt? Forgot. We didn't film last I week. I can break this. No. Elliot, half. break it if you love me. <laughs> Elliot uh, tried to hit. Oh, Elliot tried to. Oh, ooh. nice, Elliot. Okay, yeah, Elliot, Elliot broke it over his head on it's the second great try. Sound. Yeah, <laughs> a wooden board, karate board, taekwondo board. Okay, Kelly, I'm tell ready. the viewers who are you. Wait, who wait are a you? minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> well, my name is Kelly Thomas Wakasa. Ooh. Wow, middle name. Yeah, middle name. Have you ever mom. revealed that? What's up? Have, Have you ever revealed, revealed that? That might be my real middle name. It might not be my real middle name. Podcast exclusive. Exclusive, exclusive, mm. exclusive. Mm. I am half Caucasian, half <laughs> Japanese. I don't know why I was like, oh my God, what is he going to, what is he saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> or you like had a weird hesitation in there or something. I don't know. I interrupted you when you said your mom, you were saying something about your mom. Wait, what? What? I, what? She, he I was did I? Didn't he say my mom? No. no. I did. Emery's <laughs> <laughs> age is showing right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll rewind. See what, what you were saying. <laughs> yeah. I am a full-time content creator with, alongside my roommates. We are all, all, <laughs> you're all content creators. Yeah. I'm a little too hyped for this episode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bobby's getting to me. Uh, um, calm down. <laughs> I'm 22 years old. I'm 5'11". I'm 175 pounds. <laughs> um, That's I have what the people want to know. I, I live in New York City. Um, I'm on this podcast called Your Mom's House Podcast or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. How are your bowel movements? My bowel <laughs> movements are moving <laughs> and Good. I have... Con Contagious fart syndrome <laughs> <laughs> where I can't Contagious? control. Contagious? So it spreads to the people around you? Here, I'm gonna oh, no, I caught it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the mic underneath my blanket no, to okay. catch a fart real quick. Oh, no are you being serious? Oh, that sounded so real. No, it's just my mouth. Uh, yeah, that literally sounded so real, though. Good job. <laughs> so, Kelly, where did you grow up? Take us to the beginning. <sighs> I'm a Cali boy. Um, I'm from California. I was born in the Bay Area, uh, born and raised, and my family's still out of California in the Bay Area, specifically like San Mateo County area. Wow, docs. <laughs> Get docs. <laughs> Get docs. It's okay. We're a very <laughs> friendly household. I come from a very nice family. That's amazing. I love them. Yeah, you're very close with all your family members, I feel like. Siblings? You have Not siblings? Not right now. I am <laughs> across the country the from country. them. Siblings? Siblings. I'm one of four siblings. I'm the most handsome, most athletic, the most powerful, successful wow. sibling. Wow. wow. Eat that shit, Casey, Cody, Kelly. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> I'm Kelly. <laughs> I come from... Hey, uh, Cody could run pretty fast. <laughs> Cody's faster than me. <laughs> Long distance, not sprint. <laughs> um, but I come from... <laughs> I come from a long <laughs> line. What are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I come from a family... Where our names start with a K and end with a Y. Oh. I have an, two older brothers, oh. one younger sister. My oldest, Cody, Casey, me, Kelly, and then Carrie. And even my dog's name is Colby with a K and a Y. I actually didn't realize you guys all have matching end letters. So you kind of, you one up to me and my siblings who are all A's but with different endings. That's kind of sad now. Honestly, me. it makes Get sense. domed. <laughs> I'm bro, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Literally, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Wait, what did you say? Get domed. Oh. <laughs> like dominated, like, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah. what I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> I feel like you always kind of say that your sibling and family dynamic shaped a lot of the way of who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I grew up in a very competitive household. Mm. Um, 
we all grew up playing soccer and that was basically our religion and i might sound joking but that's not a joke because your mom <laughs> played soccer and my mom played soccer my dad played soccer oh, not as good too. not as well um <laughs> Not as well as your mom? Yeah, hey. my my mom played college ball. I'm on your side, Mike. I bet you were really good. <laughs> my dad, Mike is, is Mike. Kelly's yes. dad. <laughs> He's also a dentist. Nice. That's why I have teeth. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it shaped a lot of who I am. Being like the third child, I don't know why, but I always wanted to beat my brothers like in everything we did mm. in soccer, just in life in general. So it definitely is like a super motivating factor mm. and... A lot of, a lot of those childhood traumas is is why I'm here today. Are you? But they're not traumas. Are you I'm considered a middle child or no? He is a middle child. Yeah. I am not a middle child. I'm the forgotten one. Are you the forgotten oh, one? Oh wow! Absolutely. Because honestly, that would explain a lot. Yep. Talk more <laughs> of that. <laughs> what? Talk more about that. Dude, yeah. this caffeine out of this coffee's got me jittering. Really yeah. Speaking. Um, Come on, tell us about your your feelings. About my feelings. Yeah. Uh, no, I have a great childhood. Um, not really any problems. If anything, they were like personal problems. Um, I wouldn't even consider them serious problems. Just like this was just how I grew up. And so that's how my outlook was. My outlook on life was like mm -hmm. basically wanting to beat everyone, almost take them down. Mm -hmm. Because in soccer, you could hack another player, right. you know, be dirty yeah. and then score goal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so when I actually That's terrifying. Fast forward fast forward <laughs> yeah. to fast forward to YouTube. When I was first starting out YouTube, I had the mindset of like a soccer game. Mm. And so I wouldn't collab with other people because I'm like, mm. no, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna take you down. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. And I had to change that. Yeah, because I feel like you're a very collaborative person. Now mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at first I was like, I don't need I don't need other people's help. I'll I do think this on my own. You're also like a very calm person, but I remember you said like the other week, like when you were growing up in soccer, you used to like borderline have anger issues. Yeah, like I he definitely. Le he did. let out his rage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I it was dirty. Mm. You were a dirty player. Dirty player. Yellow card. I feel like a lot of like boys are like that. I know my dad to like he played football when he was younger, and he was like, "It's great. You just get to." go like shove people and mm. no <laughs> consequences <laughs> <laughs> i had like a lot of built-up anger mm. and i would really take it out on the pitch like mm. just i guess it's, at least that's like a productive way to get it out though instead of like like punching a wall or something yeah being yeah. very active mm -hmm. good where do you <laughs> think that anger came from <laughs> You it's know, like therapy yeah. psychoanalyzing <laughs> kelly time you know i think the anger came from Probably not, probably not getting enough attention because mm. there was four of us and we're all very close in age and I don't blame my parents at all. If anything, I love this trait about me because mm -hmm. I feel so driven in life and I love life and I'm very passionate. Mm -hmm. So definitely stem from that, which is why I'm crazy. <laughs> that is a middle child syndrome. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no further questions. Wait. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, so I'm the only oldest child yeah. here. You're middle. You're youngest. youngest and I'm you're youngest. youngest. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the younger children seem to be more driven or like want to do more. There are studies that show they're more entrepreneurial. Yeah. Or they, they're so I think okay doing different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's literally like oldest, usually like most traditional. traditionally successful. Mm -hmm. Middle child, mm -hmm. I don't know. Lost. <laughs> <They're>, no, <laughs> <laughs> I read really an lost. Adam Grant like book and he literally said middle children are just like forgotten. There are not even like really studies about like what they tend to do. Because they were talking mm. about baseball and the people who steal the most bases are all pretty much like the youngest in their families. It just shows they're more willing to take risks. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I think their parents like Loki allowed them to take more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my brother definitely like. I mean, just obviously in any family, like youngest child, like parents are usually less strict. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. It's real. That's really interesting. I had a lot of freedom. I did not. Well, actually, I had a good amount, but not as much as my brother. <laughs> yeah, I would just interesting. disappear. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I love. I love seeing people in their like uh, sibling hierarchy. Yeah, like, I feel like. I think it's really interesting. Like you can like. I feel like I can like tell like that we're all like 
like what if your oldest or youngest sibling yeah. like you can tell mm. yeah mm-hmm. ashley is so oldest sibling she's yeah. just like my oldest sibling really like so catering and just yeah. like uh. nothing can break the spirit oh that's so nice nothing <laughs> can thank <laughs> you <laughs> okay 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 okay, okay. nothing can stop <laughs> <laughs> i'm all the way up <laughs> like, no what? but then? seriously like you know ashley's like very you know almost like take care yeah yeah and motherly nurturing Aww. that yeah. is my youtube like, name here i am yeah. you know knocking down other people to get ahead <laughs> <Knocking down laughs> <other people. laughs> not anymore I'm, I'm a changed man good good what changed you hmm my youtube was failing i had to change really? also <laughs> no I, i'm i'm trying to think exactly i think a lot of things changed just like after high school i had the biggest change where like I was living in LA by myself with just like my best friend and that's where I had I feel like the most growth in my entire life because it was hard. Yeah. Mm. Pain equals progress. True. Hit me. Go Hit me. About it. Oh, Ow. this Ow. podcast just got better. That was a hard <laughs> flick. <laughs> wow. Kelly, unknown fact, Kelly is a masochist. He enjoys pain. Can you talk about that a little bit? Is that like, you guys say that, but I'm like, are you serious? No, I think he Low likes key. the challenge. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I just like the challenge. But I also feel like you are built a little different where you can actually tolerate it a little bit better. It's because well, I l- put myself in those positions more often yeah. than probably the average person. Mm. Mm. You say that, but then like if I like pluck your eyebrows, like you like cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you get a facial that, and you scream. Not I'm used not, to that. Not, not used, used to that. that. Yeah. But the more physical like non- He has three, he has two older brothers, you know? Mm, they true. punch in them all the time. Yeah, they don't, they don't they're not pinching me, you know? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> With those so you, should punch them. <laughs> <laughs> you should punch my eyebrows out. Okay. Not pinch. No taken. Got it. <clears throat> yeah. So soccer real quick. Is it true that you were good at soccer? Yes. How I good? Would say, I would say I was decent. Very. Now, I don't want to be like, oh, I heard you so were really good. good from your sister. Your sister told me Kelly's was really good at soccer. I heard that you were going to be a soccer player. If yep. Mm-hmm. Unless I don't know what YouTube something. <sighs> Soccer was like my first life, mm. um, like growing up too. Growing up, literally, I could not remember a time I was not playing soccer. All we do every single day was play soccer, and so both my brothers went D one college ball. One of my brothers played professional, and even my sister now is playing college soccer. Um, oh, so I didn't know Casey wow. played soccer in college. Yep, I did not know that. Mm. Very cool. So. Yeah, growing up as the third child, being very, very competitive and always playing with my brothers, I think that gave me like competitive advantage. Mm. So yeah, I would say I was one of the better players. I you know trained with the national team, and even probably just like playing with your older brothers, like that probably helps. And wanting to beat them, yeah, badly. Yeah, Yeah. because if your brothers are good and you're trying to beat them, then that's good training. (laughs) A couple years. What's the age difference between your brothers? I'm 22. My oldest brother is, man, I don't I know. I think they're, you guys are like all like two <laughs> years apart. Like, no, no, I no. Like, like three or four years apart from yeah. each other. Uh, like my, I think my oldest brother is like seven years older than me. So Whoa. when did you quit okay, soccer? longer than I thought actually. And so, how was that conversation? Oh, wow. Anybody got tissues? Because <laughs> that's what that conversation was like. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you could go through like school life, high school life, and then get to that, but it's up to no. you. Just do it. I'm going right into this. Okay, go ahead. Which camera should I look at? I don't know. Whichever one you want. Soccer was the hardest thing ever in my life to quit. You know, people quit cigarettes and they think that's hard. (laughs) Try quitting soccer in a soccer household. You are ostracized. Mm. You should blink. (laughs) 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 I wasn't blinking. (laughs) Um, But basically, like, I tried to quit playing soccer about sophomore year of high school. So, like, 16, 17. Mm -hmm. And it took about two years for me to quit. Um, because my parents specifically my mom would not let me because she was just like for good reason I didn't really understand the time Um, but I was just like I want to quit but she was like you put in all this time like you could go to college for this Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go to college I didn't even care Uh, at the time you you never wanted to go to college no I didn't really just like I was like that's not for me Hmm. I was never you you knew early yeah wow that's and uh, I just Mm. I fell in love with skateboarding when I was in eighth grade, and that also sparked me being more into making videos. But I was always making videos since I was mm. super little. 
Um, so yeah, I told my mom, like I wanted to quit soccer so I could hang out at the skate park with, you know, the skaters, which were, <laughs> you know, valid. She was like, you know, you are who you hang out with. Mm-hmm. And if I go to the skate park, a lot of people will be, you know, smoking weed, all that stuff, which is like stereotypical. Yeah. But you're not like that at all. Yeah. yeah. So I think that was a, like my, my mom saying that I was like, I'm not a skater like that, which is very stereotypical because most of them are just normal people. Mm-hmm. Um, but that definitely f- made me want to show my mom, hey, I can make it skateboarding. I can make it making videos. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that was tough to quit. Every night we would sit in the kitchen table, me and my mom, like and, like, and cry. And I'd be like, mom, I, I hate it. I'm so over soccer. Were you actually over it? I was so over. I would literally oh, wow. like play games and like not try. Wow. Yeah. Or I would just get really mad and like just push another player down. Wow. Bro. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Anybody have a red flag to wave? Yeah, that's a red flag. You are the red flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. So when did you start making videos? I started making videos when I was about like, I want to say eight Eight? Eight or nine. How did you even know how to use a camera at eight? He's I, using an iPad. I have a iPad? long iPads, history of cameras. I started out on my mom's Mac desktop, mm. iMovie. Oh. I like used the, the front camera? The front camera <laughs> of like the vintage too, yeah. Macs. What? But not the vintage well. Mac. iMovie. And um, mm-hmm. then I got a Hello Kitty flip camera. Oh, what? I remember you told me about that yeah that was an epic one oh, that the was flip like flip cameras it was like vertical yeah, camera like the flip brand yeah, actually my first i still like too. to what? use those yeah, like they have a really good like yeah look they look and like a phone almost yeah. mm-hmm. and you just charge it in like usb mm-hmm. yeah whoa interesting mm-hmm. and so i used to make like camera. full-on skits with my friends when i was little and then my brother was doing some videos about soccer and they he would do freestyle tricks and so then i saw him do that and then I was like, I can do it better. <laughs> so I took my camera, got my friends up the quality, better editing, and then wow. made a channel in middle school, made an Instagram for that, tried to get some, you know. Wow. And people around the middle school actually knew us. We were the football freestylers. And, wow. and you made videos just freestyling? Yep. Wow. We made like six videos. Nice. And then when you started skating, what you you transitioned to just making skate videos? That was a different channel. Okay. Yeah, you can still find it. Football freestylers. Wow. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's bro. pretty funny. <laughs> but then, I want to say eighth grade. We have in eighth grade at our school. We had a year long project. Uh huh. And it was called the Share Project, and everyone got to choose their own topic, and I chose skateboarding. Wow. And so for. There was like three segments of this project and one was like written, blah, blah, blah. But one was creative. So you could either make a song or something, but I did a video. Yeah. And that's the first video on my channel. What? It's a school yeah. project. It's a school that's project. so funny. School. It's called that's Sidewalk so Surfing. Funny. So if you categorize by oldest, it's that? Yep. Wow. Mm. Like and on the Kelly Wakasa channel. Seven years ago. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Crazy. Everyone yep. go watch that video right now. Yeah. Literally. It's honestly pretty good. Run up the views on that school project. What should mm-hmm. I comment? Yeah. <laughs> yes. comment, Podcast send me. Comment this man has anger issues. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what started it. Then I started doing like monthly montages of the skating. And then the biggest breakthrough when I was trying to eventually do YouTube was when I met these Braille skateboarding guys mm. about when I was a sophomore. How did you meet them? I cold emailed them really and i emailed them multiple multiple times that never works i feel like but yeah one of the filmers maybe one of the filmers was uh his name's lance he was looking for an intern okay and so i emailed multiple times and he said because i emailed so many times he finally (laughs) looked at it that's so funny that's funny because like there's a very 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 like small chance. Yeah, like I it's don't just think like so. I maybe because of your age, but I think that's like kind of the way to do things. You just no, no, no. I I was gonna say there's a oh, there's sorry. a small margin or there's a very thin line between really, really, really annoying uh, and yeah. I'll yeah, never yeah. look at you because yeah. you're so, so annoying, annoying like versus okay, this guy's just resilient. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's that's good character, you know. Mm-hmm. So I guess you didn't. You're cross lucky the line, you got taken that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I wish great. I could find that email. Yeah, I'm sure you can. How old were you? Ninth grade. No, uh, 16. Oh, like 15, oh, never mind. 16. Never mind. Okay. Mm-hmm. And nice. I was already doing like a ton of videos. 
maybe three times a week. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like skate content, skate vlogs, tutorials. And then I joined Braille Skateboarding, which is the biggest skate channel on YouTube. They have like mm-hmm. five million subscribers or so. Wow. Mm-hmm. At the time, they had a million mm. or less. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I was the intern, would go every Saturday, uh, like 45 minutes away. When I was 16, my parents were like, what are you doing hanging out with these random adults? Yeah. Do you have your license? You drive there yourself? Yeah. Okay. I, 16 mm-hmm. right, when I got it. Oh, nice. What'd you do for them? I would film and be in the videos and then I would edit. I would, their editing is basically just like raw cutting. Mm-hmm. That's because they post a video every day, I thought. Yeah. And I used to give them like a few videos a week Wow. when I was like 16 for free. Wow. For like a yeah, year. I'm like, <laughs> they probably saw your emails and were like, this guy will do we'll it do for us. Labor. He'll wow. do anything. He'll do the free labor for us. <laughs> Desperate. But so it's good. It's experience. Do you feel like that experience like helped your own YouTube channel a lot? Yeah, like just being around that energy to see like this is possible was mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. And um, yeah, it taught me a lot. Like there was employees for this channel. It was a whole like warehouse. A they had their own skate park, a uh, huge merch line. I mean, they're still killing it to this day. Mm. And I owe them a lot. They're like family. Dang. You That's still awesome. get recognized as, are you that guy from Braille? I do. Wow. All the time still. Like mm-hmm. wow. all the comments still, you're from Braille. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's, That's so interesting. interesting. You can basically see yourself really grow up on your YouTube channel then. Yeah, you really can. Braces. Everyone's like, damn, this kid's so annoying. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, the first video, I got so much hate. Oh skaters no. are haters. Skaters like, are haters. <laughs> That's kind of hard up. to deal with probably. Like, mm. Yeah, maybe. Do you think that that's why you don't? Because I would say maybe most out of everyone here, you don't. I mean, you don't care about what people say. Mm-hmm. I do feel like the the veteran out of YouTube. Like, yeah. I just feel like I've been doing it for so long. I know you've been yeah. doing it for a long time, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I still care. But, I mean, moving here helped me a lot. Because yeah. I'm just like, I'll just adopt their mindset. They don't care. Just yeah. don't even care. Yeah. There's no point. <laughs> no, I've been hated on multiple times. Like, mm-hmm. on that channel, on my own. <laughs> I mean, for some, for some for good reason. Like, I've said some sus things. So, yeah. I'm not going to bring up what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I did in everything that, yeah. that you said. Montage. There's literally a video out there with like 4 million views on their channel. And I say like a terrible word. Wow. Okay. Don't, don't, don't even, do not include it. Do not include it. Yeah, don't say it. I'm not saying it. I'm you have not to tell me what it I'll is tell later you though. After. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you after. Wait, on Braille that you said? Yeah. It's so random. Like a minute in, I just look at the camera and I say a word. <gasps> and they keep it up on their channel? I know. I'm like, they didn't cut it out because they don't, they just like post. They're very Holy like quantity shit. over quality. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's cut not shed cut light that. On. Let's cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. it's Sorry. interesting. You have like a history of really not pursuing the status quo, which I feel like the world is kind of becoming enlightened to like, oh, I don't always need to be doing like be in the rat race, like be doing what everyone else is doing. Mm-hmm. After the pandemic, I feel like more people are realizing that. Mm-hmm. But why do you think that you have that in you? Like what what contributes to that? I think it stems from the sibling dynamic and just always wanting to be seen, be like Mm. a bright color. So like in class, I was always messing around or trying to make a laugh. Even like on our school news in in middle school, I was like pranking them. (laughs) Are you serious? Yeah. You know the clip? Yeah. I love it. Oh, that was a prank. I thought you were just goofing off. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, I went on, it was read all day day. And I went on to the local school news oh and i God. literally say my book of choice is captain underpants I as like an eighth serious. grader <laughs> okay i just i thought you were being serious i thought you were too well that's the only book i had <laughs> <laughs> i would read captain underpants as an eighth grader i actually used to love captain underpants i would i read like all of them really mm-hmm. yeah, me too they were good <laughs> they were good <laughs> you love them i love it i love it i love it <laughs> nice um, uh so did you ever sell t-shirts yeah i did sell t-shirts Tell us about that. I Wait, used what? to have a brand in high oh. school called Keiko Clothing. I had with my friend Luke Ike. And yeah, we had a brand. We sold t-shirts. We didn't make money. We just sold them. We had no idea what we were doing. Some orders didn't get shipped out for months. <laughs> it's, but it was an <laughs> entrepreneurial venture. Isn't that so interesting? Yeah, that really is. What? <laughs> I just can't imagine you just printing t-shirts in your garage. Yep. Screen printing. Wow. 
after school going it's over kinda, to Luke's house. It's fun to do a screen print. Printing? Yeah. That's pretty proactive of you guys to do that. I used to sell bows when I was little. Bows. bows. Headphones? I, w- I would make <laughs> no. She was I would make <laughs> hair bows. I would make hair bows and sell them on Etsy. Wow. Yes. Really? Whoa, that's impressive. Thank you. Entrepreneurial. Like no one bought them. <laughs> <laughs> At least you tried. Anyways. You could sell a ton of bows right now. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah. Well, Back to Kelly. <laughs> back to Kelly. Yeah, back to me. It's been too long. Yes. Um, what should I talk about? What kind of kid were you in high school? In high school. Were you the jokester? I vlogged in high school. That's actually what? crazy. Oh, Senior year, like towards the end, I was like, oh, I have nothing to lose. I might as well vlog it. Yeah. Oh, I have a good question. Do you feel like doing YouTube during your high school experience like took away possibly from your high school experience? No. Really? Like I think a lot of us at first, I didn't tell anyone. Mm. Uh. Uh, I had like a separate accounts. Mm. And it wasn't, people didn't really know my YouTube until I started making lifestyle videos mm. because senior year I made a hard switch from skating, all skating, had like a, yeah, maybe close to a hundred thousand subscribers. And then I went full lifestyle, made some school vlogs and then, yeah, I was seen on campus with my G7X. G7X. Oh, on wow. your high school campus with a G7X. Yep. Jumping out the window. Wow. And you never got in trouble from your high school for vlogging? I did. Oh, because I was going to say, I know some they people that no got vlogging? expelled for vlogging. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. They said no filming at school? Um, some of my teachers were chill. Uh, I did have like a meeting with like the principal oh, about wow. filming. About filming. I forget exactly what I did. Jumped out a window? <laughs> jumped out the window? <laughs> jumped out the window? Yeah, I jumped out the window. So I definitely got like Saturday school for that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Where I have to go on Saturday and pick up trash. Mm. You know, teachers are on a power trip, you know. Teachers are in a power trip. <laughs> I hate high school. <laughs> I hate high school administration. They're often on a power trip. Yeah. Like your power trip in. Yeah, some of them really are. Yeah. But no, well, it not didn't everyone, but yeah. it didn't affect my high school life at all because it was right at the very end and mm-hmm. I wasn't actually that good at making that many friends with the other sex. Um <laughs> Girls, I didn't. I wasn't that good with girls or confident. Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> yeah, like bro. I don't know why that just popped into my head and I said it like that. He's like trying to come up with some yeah. like fancy tell. phrasing. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> man, that's why. I've been talking so much. I like don't know what I'm even saying at this point. Okay, so high school, end of high school, you started making some vlogs, jumping out windows, mm-hmm. and then what? What your all your friends are going to college or? All my friends are going to college. I applied to college. I applied mm-hmm. to like six schools six or seven and i got denied from all of them mm-hmm. i got waitlisted at one mm-hmm. but i kind of like didn't really try i never wrote an, wrote like an essay yeah i just left that blank i just did it you for left my the essay blank. <laughs> did you take the sat <laughs> i took the sat okay that's i got a, like that's a, a step. 1200 what is that out of 1600 I took mm. the ACT, so I don't That's, know. like, understandable. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I don't good. know the scale. Also, the <laughs> SAT skill changes or something. Yeah, yeah. My GPA in high school was pretty good. What was Not it? Not compared well. to you four O's over but here. But also, you were going... School is very competitive in the Bay. Yeah, it is. It's a different story, because, I mean, I'm coming from Alaska. I'm from upstate New York. Well, they don't, what do you think? Like, there's a curve or something? No, I think it's just a lot harder to get into colleges from Depending the on certain oh. areas. Yeah, yeah because some... Yeah. Yeah, because some colleges will only it's take, like, a certain These number guys. of people from yeah. certain areas. No, I have friends who are from the Bay, and they, like, they've told me their experiences. It sounds, like, really cutthroat and extremely, like, stressful, competitive. So... Damn. You're also coming from, like, a different experience. Like, mm-hmm. everyone is. Yeah, I didn't really stress it, because I didn't really care. Yeah. About mm-hmm. college. It was more so just for my parents. But yeah, everyone was going to college and uh you know, rewind to freshman year, I met my best friend Luke Ike. Um and we we're of high school. Of high school and we were both like kinda getting into YouTube at the time and like we skate every day together. And we we're like, one day we're gonna move to LA and be full time YouTubers. Wow. It's a dream. And so after high school <laughs> After high school, we moved down to L.A. and uh, shared, like, a tiny studio apartment in Hollywood and pursued our dreams. Right across from the Scientology building, the big blue Scientology building Mm -hmm. in, like, uh, East Hollywood. I was probably, like, less than a mile from you. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. But I was (laughs) a year graduated in college, after college. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I moved out there thinking, wow, I'm going to blow up. I'm the next freaking Jake Paul. And uh, 
no, maybe not next Jake Paul. Let's maybe we should cut that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like Mr. Beast. No, he wasn't no. Even around. Well, he's like your age, kind of, right? Yeah, I, I don't even is know. He? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's young. Yeah. Mr. Beast is young. I he's like your like age or a year older. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I thought he was like twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. He's really young. But oh. I was nicheless in LA and I had no idea what I was doing. But I had like a lot of skills of how to make videos, so I was just making really, really random videos down there. Well, you had another channel with Luke. Yeah, I started that. another channel. That's because I was just like desperate. I was just like, what am, what am I doing? Like, I don't know what I'm filming. One week I'm filming a skate video. The next week I'm filming an interview. It was just so random. So yeah, I started a channel with Luke. and Life of Luke and Kelly. Life, Life of, of Luke, Luke and Kelly. Kelly. Is that really how it starts? Yep. I and did not know that. Three claps. Oh. I like for some reason I haven't seen a Life of Luke and Kelly video in a while, but I knew that it was three taps after. Yeah. Mm. Fun fact: Elliot found me through Life of Luke and Kelly. This is true. And I wouldn't be here without that channel. True. So it's good. <laughs> but that was, yeah, that was a fun time. We literally did anything we wanted every single day. We only had to pay six fifty each for rent, and that's about how much money I thought I had to make per month. Is that how much you made per month? A little less. <laughs> 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 no, I made like I had a lot saved up from okay. high school because I had had no expenses. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I think I made around like one to two k a month with saved. So I was slowly. <laughs> slowly losing money but it was fun yeah well i forgot like you literally were making income from youtube during high school then so you had like some of your own <laughs> like independence from that probably like a tiny bit i paid taxes when i was 17 Whoa. wow yeah and i was making more money in high school than i did when i left high school Whoa. which is funny yeah. oh interesting i'm like a full-time youtuber and i made less <laughs> than <laughs> like a part-time student mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah that was interesting living in LA when do you feel like you developed because you're very technical like you were very well studied on the camera the editing did you Mm kind of focus on that in LA or was that like in high school or just throughout yeah I've been around cameras for so long that I feel like I'm very good at solving problems with cameras Mm -hmm. I still am surprised that I'm not better for how long I've been doing it but In LA, I definitely had enough time where I got really into storytelling. And that's kind of where my content switched from just like basic vlogging to, oh, let me like add sounds, you know, visuals. How did you get into storytelling? Can you like talk more of that? I feel like that's like really like the crux of your channel. Like people are like, oh, Kelly is really good at storytelling. Like Like your videos always tell videos on how to storytell, like read books. Like what was that? I remember this one website. It was like 12 rules from Pixar. And I used to look at it and I used to like look at that website before I started my video and I would write on my paper how, what, why, when, where, and like a thesis. You are actually very like studious about your videos. Yeah. Like you, like if you have a lot of things to say, like you'll well organize it. If you have to like Mm -hmm. script apart, you'll like write out what you have to say. It's very organized and very, yeah. And even kind of, um, what's the word like? You have a tradition, like, because I just did, I was filming, like, my intern video with mm-hmm. Kelly, and he yeah. said he'll play, like, the Ratatouille music background. Oh, yeah, he will play, you will play soundtracks yeah. yeah, as you do things, like, get you in to the get mood, a mood. Mm-hmm. to, like, tell a story. Yeah, Ratatouille soundtrack is my favorite soundtrack. I've listened to it since it, like, came out, like, the movie. Yeah. Wow. I hear you play it all the time. Like, Anyone Can Cook is the best soundtrack to make like stories too. I <laughs> yeah. swear to God, if I die, guys, I want you to make videos with that soundtrack. I'll be like, <laughs> Kelly is da, missed. Da, Kelly da, used da, to. Da, 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 da. It'll be the Ratatouille Can you sing soundtrack? it for us? Just like a little, little intro. Mm-hmm. It, oh man, it's so good. Like it's so like it gets me so excited I'm when it. I listen to that song. Lefestine is more of a classic sound that you'll know from Ratatouille, which is. But okay. anyone, anyone can, can cook is more of like a, a low like dun, dun. <laughs> I can't remember how it goes. It's it's literally like it it's come on Kelly, you can do it. Come no on, no, Kelly. there's no song, there's no vocals. It doesn't it's matter, just hum it's it. A just beat. hum it. It's like <laughs> come on, you got it, you got it. No, I can't. Why are you so nervous, man? <laughs> I literally you started, you were like, You're dun, blushing. Dun. Because I cannot do it. It's, do it. You it's can do it. There's you not like it. just try. Okay. Come on. It goes. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, you got it. You got it. 
<laughs> it Look straight in the camera and do it. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Mm. Okay. Well, the best part about it is is because it works so well with any narration. Let me just okay. first state that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's a very subtle. It like starts loud. It's like. Do <laughs> 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 you want me to play it for you, bro? Y- play it for me, actually. For like a like, second, give me, give me, me a, copyright give me a copyright second. Is? This okay. is really important to me. Yeah, I actually think this is fascinating. Like, this do is something you, fascinating that you do for your videos. Yeah. I'm trying to think of another influence I had because it wasn't just Ratatouille. Yeah. Um, you take, like, a lot of, like, this is very, like. Oh, careful, careful. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not even I don't Oh, I know Gusto sold his restaurant And then moved on And Anton Ego I see, I see You know, it's like it just works. Wow. I think that's kind of genius of you to do. You know, instead of starting from just a blank page, you're like, you know. You use the sound to And that's what art is. It's right just you're taking from different inspirations. Mm-hmm. It's very fascinating. <clears throat> yes. I wish I remembered my first influence to storytelling, but I don't. <laughs> so you like study these things, though, because you even said that you studied like intonation, which I didn't even know was was a word <laughs> you mean tonality oh tonality tonality oh. Yeah. yes see like, <laughs> how to speak yeah how intonation to speak. really questions mm, interesting <laughs> because i was like how can i be the best storyteller ever wow that's interesting because i think something that i struggle with when i specifically do narrations i will record something and be like that didn't come off right yeah or like i said like something weird yeah sometimes there's like certain phrases where like you need it to be like the right tone Wow. Exactly. It's hard, to, it's hard to get sometimes. Very interesting. But yeah. Kelly's You're really good actor. at it. Yeah, literally. Hide to low. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. That's your, that's your hide thing. Hide low? Yes. You talk from high to low. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I used to study a lot of sports analysts and like mm-hmm. other storytellers. Mm. Uh, one in particular, Stephen A. Smith. He's very animated and that's why it makes him very like fun to watch. We saw mm. him at the Warriors game. I used to also practice facial expressions. Like really? in the mirror, I believe yeah. that I would be like, mm, like, it, like, and I used to practice like my jaw to have like a sharp jawline. <laughs> That's because when wow. the first time Elliot showed me one of your videos, I was like, he could be like a Disney Channel character, wow. like because he was just like, blah, blah. Wow. like very good, Kelly. That's actually yeah. so interesting. When yeah. I did cheerleading, our coaches would make us go through the routine just do facials. Maybe you have very I was gonna say and that's, you and have I very do a good lot of yeah, expressions. Too. She's so good. Very yeah. good facial expressions. Like literally, like facials are like you get judged on facials when you do cheerleading. You have to like mouth the words. You have to do facials. If you don't have like that yeah, facial wow. energy, you'll get deductions. Even in videos, you know, like if you're just like staring at someone, people are like, "Oh, you look so mad." No. You know? <laughs> oh, that's so that's interesting. so funny. But yeah, so like they would be like run through the routine facials only, or they'd be like, you have to look at yourself in the mirror, do the full routine facials only. Is this wow, where you learned that's this? Fascinating. That's yeah. not where I learned this, but I can see, like, where did you learn this one? Like, um, from my own brain, I learned all my. I learned some of my facials from my own brain. Wow. Yeah, but I think once you have the expertise, you can craft your own mm-hmm. recipe. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. my facial muscles are very like anyone can cook. They're they're pretty f- flexible to make interesting faces. <laughs> yeah, so you you really use like a lot of your environment to take inspiration from because you have like the sports, mm. the movies. I don't know. I love to I'm steal like an artist. That's I was literally like thinking of that book when you were saying that. Have you read that book? Nope. What I watched a video. What is that? There's a book called Steal Like an Artist. And also oh. How to Share Your Work. He wrote the Can same book. explain that a little bit? Just like I used to consume a lot of content, especially when I was trying to become a great storyteller. Mm-hmm. And I would be like, oh, I like that. I like that. And so before I actually made the style I have today, mm-hmm. I have a piece of paper. I think I still have it where it's like <laughs> all these other creators or videos and mm-hmm. i like i want this out of each one mm. i was like i want david Do- david dobrik quickness emma chamberlain relatability mm. um wow. you know music like han zimmer you know nice yeah super super yeah r- broad range of yeah. creators yeah so i always think that your video is like more out of everyone like it's coming from it's like a representation of what's happening in your brain we're like, I would like to do more stuff like that because I feel like, mm-hmm. you know, we kind of just like vlog or like capture things where I feel mm-hmm. like you're 
actually like taking your brain and putting it out into a video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I try my best too. Yeah. yeah. Well, Some weeks are worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to make a video each week and like a really good story. Yeah. Yeah. But I do think it's interesting. Like you do take a lot of like, or I don't know. I feel like you like, you like know where your influences came from. Cause if I think about my videos, I'm like, I don't know why I make my videos the way mm. I make them. But I think mm. you guys are like very thoughtful with it. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Mm -hmm. I'm very easily or I have like I don't know why I have so many role models or like I really you like guys really do I really like certain people that's really good yeah. I think it's great to have role models you definitely have do you have role you, models like, Elliot? You feel I like think I had a lot of role models like growing up mm -hmm. but like now that like I don't know I feel like I've become more complex and so yeah it's like harder for me to latch on to people yeah. I feel that but I know definitely like Kelly can be like he can like name the people that he like really likes mm -hmm. yep. yeah who do you like yeah so name them I think that's very important yeah. about who you are yeah. actually and I have certain things about each one that I really like yeah okay go Give for us it your top five ten top five mm -hmm. not in order okay. can't choose order <laughs> okay. it's like picking kids okay, okay. Kanye Bieber um Steph Curry, mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant. Those are, those the are main my main. Ones. Those are yeah, my those main. are your main. Okay, and then why the do you four. admire? What uh, what what about them do you admire? Kobe, R.I.P. Mama mentality. Uh, I used to listen to his like motivational tracks all mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. and I used to just like look at his image on my phone, and be like, "Yes, He's I'm gonna go to the gym." Saver. He's still my screensaver. It's yeah. been like that for like years. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Just like his mentality, I just love the you know work ethic. Mm -hmm. Um, Bieber, I've been a fan for so long. I think he's like a little misunderstood and maybe I was drawn to that as like a third child. Whoa. And also I think he's, you know, I don't know why, but I really like Bieber. I, you know, I also like his music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could go on and on about Bieber. <laughs> I will just stop here. <laughs> <laughs> he got a crush on Justin Bieber. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. Like he actually does. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I am one of the biggest Justin Bieber fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I know when the album's coming. I know when I got the merch. You have his merch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you wear his. You like, have a lot of his that? merch. I am. I am positive. Biebs and I will be a good friend. Mm. Like we're just like. I understand him. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's I, how people probably I think I about us. I understand him. Yeah. It's like because <laughs> he could know who you are. You never know. Oh yeah, yeah. Biebs and I are tight. Okay. Um. <laughs> never say never. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. But and then, <laughs> and then. Steph Curry. Steph Curry, light skin assassin, baby face assassin. Oh man, I would let that man sleep with my wife. You know, he is the greatest human on earth. Um, I think he's just perfect. <laughs> oh, okay, like, what do you like about him? <laughs> he's just like, I one, think he one, just has a crush. <laughs> one, <laughs> Steph That's Curry. Crush. <laughs> Steph Curry is the greatest shooter ever. And he has, like, the odds stacked against him. He's 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 uh -huh. He's not supposed to be the best player. But he is the best player. Um, Crazy has, endurance crazy endurance that's not really why i like him uh -huh. so why do you like him <laughs> <laughs> why do you like him because he's uh, yeah i like that underdog? he's an underdog uh -huh. i think he's a great family man his steph kids, and aisha shit steph and aisha mm -hmm. shit um and he's got great morals you can just tell mm. um he doesn't he's not like a shit talker yeah you know he goes about his business he gets it done and he does it with a smile and i really like that well i've never heard Kelly talks so passionately. I am he very loves passionate. Him. Wow. Now to Kanye, good old Kanye. I have a literally a shrine in my room almost. My lights revolve around Kanye's <laughs> image where he says, success is the best revenge. I used to look at that poster all the time after this girl broke my heart. And I was like, I'm going to be so freaking big on YouTube. That's, but let's go back to Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this gets really aggressive. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna regret the day that you broke up with me. <laughs> yeah. No, it's literally, we are gonna ruin this day. Literally, um, but yeah, Kanye. I love Kanye's mindset and how he's like, I can achieve anything. Hmm. I'm a god. I am this. I am that. And how? <laughs> do you consider yourself to be a god? Yeah. Do, do you, you think that this is your I think, to be god? I think everyone should see themselves as. The, the greatest best. as yeah. the best at what they do mm -hmm. otherwise what's the point of doing anything like what's the point of being alive yeah there's no point <laughs> like kidding. how much does the earth cost <laughs> <laughs> only kanye can ask that you know <laughs> did he ask that yeah yes. oh my god. on joe rogan he wants to buy it <laughs> oh my god That's so funny but you know i just think <laughs> one he makes great music and also cares about his art so much 
And I'm like, I care about my art. And there's so many things that Kanye does that people see him as a villain mm. when really I see genius. And I think, yeah, a lot of things are controversial that I don't agree with. But overall, his like what he's going for. His mindset. His mindset. It's just, it's, it's spectacular. And I love mm. him. Well. Nice. I really love him. I feel like something that we actually all have in common, I feel like, is like, at least with YouTube, I feel like you really have to like go for it. I feel like all of us are go-getters. <laughs> I just wanted to say that to be nice. <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> but like, I yeah. actually feel like we are. So I think that's a good trait that we all have. And that's why we can all agree on a lot of things. Y'all just got me hyped talking about e Kanye, Steph, Kobe, mm -hmm. so Bieber. His documentary is coming out, like, I think tomorrow or something. Genius? Yeah. Clever. Yeah. J-E-E-N-S? Yeah. Oh, my God. Clever. Man clever. is genius. Yeah. You know, he used to be an artist, like a painter. Really? And he, he said in his video, man, I've watched so many Kanye videos. He's like, you know, I really liked art, but I couldn't turn the paintings up loud enough. Whoa. So then he did music. And I'm like, damn. Dang. That's actually crazy. I want to turn my video up louder, but Dang. I was, I'm not a artist like him. Well, that's what you do. You listen to Ratatouille and you say, you see the visuals like they the do in, Ra mm -hmm. in Ratatouille. Mm -hmm. He has a in thing story. about his ears and like, so he can, he can like hear sounds or something weird like that. I can hear sounds with my <laughs> ears. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> so like in my <laughs> he can feel the sounds. In the my sounds mind. The sounds are visuals to him. In my mind, when I hear, I think we all have this, or especially Elliot. I feel are we like, talking about synesthesia? I don't know what that word means, but <laughs> <laughs> that's like when you can like hear a color. Mm. No, but I was saying what I was trying to say mm -hmm. was when I hear a certain track or anything, or even like when I look out in the world or I go on a walk or mm. do anything, I see it like I'm making a video. Like my eyes are just a lens. Oh, it's and like, like when damn. you look out the car window. Yeah, and I like, <laughs> wow, that was such a good sound. Like, oh, I want to record cool. that sound. Kelly will, like, watch a car go by and be like, nice mask. <laughs> 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 I will. Like, I'm literally wow. not joking. Okay. Wait, that's can you explain cool. that? Because I don't... A mask think, is, like, yeah. when you, like, cut an image yeah. so that it, like, swipes across the page and, like, it's, like, just, like, a nice transition. transition. Yeah. That's like, Kelly could, like, see a car go by and be like, nice mask. Or, like, I literally will be, like, like, we'll walk somewhere and be like, this would be a great shot. And, like, this is so funny. Yeah. I literally, for the visual viewers mm -hmm. like with my head when i see something really pretty i will do a pan with my head like this <laughs> like you're Are you being shooting serious? it yeah you're like shooting i'm shooting it? it like i really love when there's something in the foreground and i'm shooting to the left hopefully 120 frames so i can slow that shit mm -hmm. wow that's really interesting yeah, yeah. That really is. super eye-opening actually I, yes. yeah wow that's how kelly goes about his dude life. life is so fun <laughs> I actually feel like the visualization aspect of, well, obviously for filmmaking, it's really important, but also like, I think people should use their imaginations when it comes to like, what could life be like? You know, I feel like you guys are all like, have good imaginations. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. Like to have a wild imagination and to be able to like, really see what that looks like. Yeah. I think also like, I know at least you guys, like, I feel like you guys will like, make a shot and be like this is a buttery shot <laughs> and it's like so funny because i feel like when i vlog i'm like not even thinking about the shot but like now i'm be like mm, i will think about the composition of my shot a little bit more mm. like think about my b-roll a little bit more because you guys are like shooting b-roll like crazy and i'm like i'm not even shooting b-roll everything that i shoot is a-roll aka like talking or like some type of mm -hmm. motion like not transitional or something yeah but yeah, it's very interesting I mean, we're all different creators. I know we are. Which makes it really creators, special. But yeah, I think it's it's nice that we all are so different because then we can learn from each other. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Man, y'all got me hyped talking about my idols. I know. Now I'm like, you're gonna like edit later and be like, I'm on my Kanye. Yeah. And and uh, then I'm on my Stefan Aisha. Mhm. Mm <laughs> then I'm on my mem mama mentality. Mhm. Mm wow. Then I'm on my never say never. Oh my God! I'm gonna wow. be listening to Kanye and Bieber on repeat while watching the Warrior game. You're gonna like and looking at my Kobe Bryant poster. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. I feel like doing freaking push-ups right now. I'm so hyped. Well, maybe you should for the viewers. <laughs> uh, wow. We're on a podcast. Everyone. So love that sound actually, this ears. is really interesting. It seems like you get a lot of like energy from, you know, thinking about maybe yeah, you watch like a, a Kanye thing. clip or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, 
Do you feel like that's what it is? Like the role models they give you energy in a sense, like hearing their words or like their music. I think like you see yeah. like what they can do, and you're like, this is something I can do as well, mm. or just like I don't know. I even think it goes all the way back to stealing like an artist. Mm. How each one of them, I take something individually. So like when I watch a Steph Curry game. I feel like a good person. <laughs> mm. You're like, wow, Steph Curry's such a good person. When I listen, I'm a good person. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I like Steph Curry, so I'm a good person. <laughs> oh, interesting. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. When I think about Kobe Bryant, like I think about working hard. Yeah. And so, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know, it really hypes me up that's, in that's different good. categories that's in so my good. life. And mm-hmm. I think it's really good to know that, know what does that for you. You know, you know that you can use that as a resource. Mm-hmm. You know, you feel lazy, go watch a Kobe video. You feel misunderstood, go listen to some JB. Like, yeah. I think that's such an <laughs> asset. <laughs> for you. Do you feel like I was gonna ask this question? Well, but we you got seem off very the topic. self-aware about it. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. You, f- you you seem like you know that that clearly gives you energy, and that's like a really powerful <gasps> thing. What? Oh, you're wearing your shirt, huh? No way. What shirt are you no wearing? No way. No way. Justice. I got my oh. I have my Bieber shirt on. Kelly's wearing his Bieber do. Justin Bieber justice. Yeah, very justice fitting. Yep. T shirt. Do you feel like you're misunderstood? He just said that. He didn't say that. He said Justin Bieber is misunderstood. I think as a kid, like growing up, uh, maybe a little misunderstood. That? Don't worry, Kelly. We understand you. We understand you, you, Kelly. Hey. <laughs> we know <laughs> everything <laughs> about you. What am I thinking of right now? You're oh. thinking. Don't bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I'm thinking, wow, you look like a cat that I would like to pet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But Ellie's visuals. still got on his cat ear hat and for Kelly's the audio petting him I'm for those petting. not watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Meow. Meow. <laughs> meow. Is there, meow, is there meow. anything else that you'd like to add? Any last little things about yourself, Kelly? There is nothing I can't do. Anything in this world is achievable. I agree. Even you. We will go on a second date. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Well, I agree. <laughs> well, I agree. Um, no, I'm very passionate about life. Mm. And I like your questions because it, it gives me a, a, a new new flame has been mm. sparked. I think Kelly like literally seems so happy right now. I'm like not oh. joking. Like Kelly, I can tell you like so happy. so happy. Like I feel like you could run a mile. Like you're just so excited. <laughs> like I don't think I'm actually hot physically like like, <laughs> no, no, like like hmm? like hot like warm yeah. oh, well i think but so. i am sweating <laughs> <laughs> like i am literally sweating so That's ecstatic funny about life right now That's i great. do feel like you know this is like a side of you that maybe your viewers like don't know so i feel like this was yeah great you know what i think it is you know that quote it's like you're the average of the five people close to you yeah mm-hmm. i think it doesn't always have to be people that you're physically close to it could be it's your role models it could be your role models <laughs> yeah. you know mm-hmm. who you spend time with the most Mm-hmm. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with, with Steph. Justin Bieber and stuff Justin because Bieber. you're always consuming their stuff. So yes, wow. And now you spend more time with me and Anne Marie, so you became a nicer person. I have been <laughs> feeling about me, <laughs> not Elliot. <laughs> hey, <laughs> true. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sorry, Elliot. <laughs> it's okay. Boys rule. The other sex <laughs> <laughs> rules. <laughs> yeah, literally. Nice. <laughs> well, that's amazing. I get my peaches out and joy. Okay. Well, yeah, why don't you end on a song? I feel sometimes like I do feel like Kelly could be in a boy band. I wanted to always be in a boy band. Yeah, I could totally see that. Like, I feel like you're actually like you're pretty good at singing. In I my would, other life, I, I would was beg to, to differ. Deeper. Yeah, hmm. you'd beg to differ. Yes, I would. I'm he not can hit some of the high notes, but like you go for it, and I feel like I feel no, like no, no, I, no. I feel like you are good at singing. I think if we all closed our eyes and listened to me, I'm worse. <laughs> no, but if you no. watched me do it, because I am confident, yeah. but it I, looks better. I yeah. think maybe like go to like one two voice lessons, like you'd be great singer. You know, just one to two is not like gonna change. I your don't life. care. Nope, it will change your life. Okay, buy me them and we'll come back to this podcast okay. and I'll sing. <laughs> okay, for your birthday, I will buy them for you That's and then like a year. you'll have to why, go. Why to don't them. we wrap it up by you singing? <clears throat> Oh God! Why do we always end on singing? Because I feel yeah. like people actually want to hear Kelly sing. <laughs> okay, start yeah. singing. What are you gonna sing? She take my money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <I'm> need. <laughs> oh, she is trifling. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, she a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> Way down, down. If I was listening to the podcast, oh, I would literally shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, uh. Yes, yeah, she a gold digger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Uh. She ain't messing with no.
Broke de broke. <laughs> broke de broke. <laughs> broke de broke. <laughs> broke de broke. <laughs> that was perfect for Ashley. That's funny. Man. Yeah, y'all got me hyped. I'm feeling really good. That's amazing. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to leave it off with a quote. Yes. Uh, one of my favorite quotes. Do what excites. Wow, <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Perfect. Neither did I. I was like, what's it going to be? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, how did you come up with that? I think you should say that okay. really quick. Um, I came up with it after the girl broke my heart and I was really same, lonely. Same girl, girl where you looked at the... Yeah. yeah, literally, she, she changed, changed her like life. You should literally... You. you should, like, send her Amazon gift card. Who is card. this girl? I want to... <laughs> I showed you her. Yeah. I forget. I, I know you did, her. but I want to see her. <laughs> yeah. I've not... S- Actually, maybe I have. No, I mean, yeah. Really lonely, sad, depressed. It was, like, a, a bad, like, month and a half, two months. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a place... I was staying at my grandma's. I felt like a loser. YouTube was sucking. I wasn't making any money. And then kind I was of like, like now, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was so desperate that I wrote on like a piece of paper, um, like certain things to help me get out of it. Like, I was watching like a lot of videos. Yeah. Like, how do I get out of this I rut I'm it. in? And mm-hmm. eventually the list came down to like, what's my favorite emotion? I don't know why I wrote that mm-hmm. down, yeah. but I was like, not happiness, not yeah. like excitement, but it was excitement. Wow. And then I was like, I don't know if I said it then, like, do do what excites. I'm just going to do what excites every single day. Mm-hmm. And, like, literally that phrase, like, got me out of that period. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I That's think very sometimes nice. you have to hit the low. If you hit the harder you hit your low, it's like a concrete floor. You hit it really hard, and then you can bounce back. Yep. But sometimes you got to <clears throat> go down deep. That was, like, True. out of the blue to me, too. Mm. Cause like my whole life felt you like it. totally fine. And then that was just like uh, bam. all of the, everything that had happened in my life all fell on me in that like two month, three month period. Mm. Uh, and it was just like wow. the worst. That would have been actually really interesting to talk about, you know, like, cause you seem like in your videos and probably your viewers just think you're always happy, like but super happy. you know, like talking about that mental like state or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah, I was out there journaling. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wow. was doing my inner Amory. You do kind of do like a lot of those things. Like you have a vision board. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you were writing down things. I like think you still journal occasionally, right? No. Actually, <laughs> out of all the nope. self-help things I do or like self-improvement, journaling has the, been the one that never stuck. <laughs> I, I mean, but it's, you know, each one you got to try. Like yeah. I, I, like I meditated for man oh yeah you kelly actually like you actually meditated for like a long time and almost every day he said that there's like one track that like he could basically recite because he knows it so well (laughs) interesting it ends like this you can literally say it your desires are now in escrow you can fully let go now you You are (laughs) you are miraculous and I love you. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> it literally ends saying, and what? I love you. <laughs> so just picture this. <laughs> Which meditation? Oh my God. Yeah, it's like a 10-minute ten, ten medi- meditation. It's like, God, a, and it's like a yellow thumbnail. And thumb I now. love you. <laughs> 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 what's the name of it? So that the viewers Bro. can search yeah, it. And it? And we can in your shoes. Get it I, I don't know exactly. Oh, man. Okay, okay well, yellow, yellow thumbnail, 10-minute meditation. No, I mean, all my manifestations are coming true. I manifested this house. I would sit in my car every day. And I would put my palms facing up in receiving receive? mode. Wow. That's and crazy. I would sit there. You're amazing for that. Wow. <laughs> and like people would be walking by me, but I don't <gasps> see them. You know, like I'm That's in the middle of hard, safe ways. Actually. Yeah. Y'all catch me in the weirdest places meditating. <laughs> and I, I used to get it right after I got coffee. I'd put my coffee down. I'd meditate wow. for 10 minutes. I'd wake up and I'd go, damn it. The coffee ice melted. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if I were you, I would be drinking that coffee. You drink it first, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's but that's one thing I think, you know, is a good takeaway. You're willing to try, like, everything without judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Cause I would not have imagined you to be meditating. Yeah. But that is, like, something that you, like, really did. You mm-hmm. have a, you're a dichotomy. You have, yes. like, a lot of, we, we learned that word, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> dichotomy. Good yeah. word. I'm yeah. a dichotomy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I, I am... Redemptuous yes. and uh, qualmable. Qualmable. Mm. Very nice. qualmable. Good, words. <laughs> Good vocabulary, Kelly. Yeah. You're learning. And delectable, right, Elliot? And delectable. Delectable. Oh, sure. <laughs> Elliot's like, I don't right, know Elliot? what that means. Right. Yeah, we're just throwing <laughs> words out there. Yeah. Well, anyways. <laughs> All right. That was an amazing way anyway. to close. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're so right, Elliot. Anyway, that was an <laughs> amazing <laughs> way to close off the podcast. 
We got a oh, call coming. We got a call coming. So, so we got to go. <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay. Your, Your mom, mom out. out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs>